Hey, Mars Lane. Hope you're having a great day. It's Holy Week, uh, so it's a good week. Uh, and I hope that you're just stopping and remembering your Savior and remember it as you're sheltering in place that He is your shelter, your refuge, uh, your source of comfort. And so you focused on Him. I want to give you a couple things that you could know about. Number one, a service opportunity. Shana 3 has materials and knowledge to be able to make face masks. Anybody who would like to help in that, please reach out to her. If you can sew, I can't sew. Uh, but if you can sew, you can be a part of that. And so if you'd reach out to her, we'll put those together. And then if you need one, please reach out to us so we can help get that to you. Or if you know someone that does, so we can get those face masks to those that need them. Also, we, we're really excited about Friday at 6.30, uh, the communion service that we're going to have. Pastor's going to be on Facebook Live, 6.30 Friday. And he's going to be leading us in our Good Friday service, in, in which we'll uh, be involved also with communion. And so we want you to be able to participate in that. Uh, we want you to be able to lead your families, parents to be able to lead their children, uh, husbands to be able to lead their wives. For people who are alone, we want you to remember that you're never alone as you celebrate it. It's a reminder that Christ is always with us. Uh, just maybe even an opportunity to, to zoom in with some distant relatives and participate with it, with them. Uh, Josh was talking about the possibility of being able to zoom in with Rainy and have communion with her. And so we just want you to take advantage of that opportunity. 6.30 Friday. We are going to have the elements up here. If you need the elements, we're going to have them here that we can get to you Thursday. If you want to just swing by to be able to pick those up. Uh, if you want to get them from the grocery store yourself, no problem. But if you want to swing by here, we have the elements for you. Uh, some grape juice and unleavened bread. So uh, we really encourage everyone to be a part of that. And then we want you to know that Easter is going to be different. But we want to celebrate in a way that kind of brings us all together on Easter. So we're asking for everyone to bring some flowers to the cross here at the church. During your Easter day to take some time, come up here to the church, come out to the cross as your family, and just lay some flowers down and remember what your Savior has done. Remember his death, burial, and resurrection power. That was for your redemption. And just have a little time of worship out there by the cross, leaving some flowers. We think that'll be great for you. And we also believe we want our community to see that we still celebrate a risen Savior. That we're still excited about Easter. That we might not be able to be together in the same way, but it hasn't changed our love for Christ. So as they drive by and see our flowers, as they see perhaps a family out there worshiping, it'll be a time to be able to uh, minister to our community in that way about the knowledge of how we feel about the Lord. And so we want to encourage everybody to be a part of that. If you get here and another family is here uh, at the cross, we are asking that you maintain social distancing. We don't want anybody to think that we're violating that. Uh, please refrain from, from interacting in the way uh, that we're not supposed to so that our name looks good in our community. Uh, but just be joy and glad to see your your family and, um, and celebrating the risen Savior. And so uh, enjoy your Holy Week. Uh, look forward to seeing you Sunday online as well for our Easter service on our Facebook Live. And uh, pray that you will enjoy it all. God's good all the time. And all the time, God is good.